All right, this is Khalil here. So <clears throat> I'm doing a test with the ESP32. Um, I was trying to get uh, Bluetooth RF Com to work, Bluetooth Classic to work on the ESP32. Having a hard time with the ESP32 IDF. Um, but if you use the Bluetooth, uh, from the Bluetooth Kitchen Bluetooth or BT stack, you can actually get a port of the um, RF Com and all the other um, Bluetooth uh, protocols um, generated from there, and you can run all the um, code there. So now I'm doing a test with RFCOM. What we have down here is a little serial terminal that, that displays what's being sent out. And then up here we have a framework that I've built called Rover Core S, which is communicating over uh, Bluetooth RFCOM. It's reading out the serial data from the RFCOM device that it's connected up to, and it's right now printing out all of the keys that it's seeing. Uh, this is a little standard that we built for the robotics team. Um, right now I'm going to kill Rover Core S. And below you'll see what happens with the Bluetooth at the serial monitor. Oh, okay. Let's reset this actually. Try this again. All right, so this is connected, and now it's connecting and sending information back and forth. And if I go over here and I kill it, it says that it's closed, and I can open back up. Gives me new authenticates again. If I'm fast about it, it immediately catches the connection. So I think if I can somehow like kind of eliminate the need for a uh, for because it generates a new key, like the uh, the the sample code that I'm using, the SPP counter, generates a new key every single time I auto connect, which actually makes it easy to connect up with any device because as long it'll just give you the key, you can just run with it using a BT agent. Um, but yeah, no, uh, the actual connection is actually extremely fast if it doesn't have to relook up at the key. And bam, there it is. It's like almost immediate. Actually, it's literally immediate. Um, but if I wait a little bit after the port has closed, it'll take a couple seconds for it to re-register the new address and then allow the connection to come back. Um, so yeah, we have the Bluetooth module here. Um, it's connected up to my computer using the internal Bluetooth. And I changed the SPP counter uh, example code to output this particular string here, which is the format that we're looking for for Rover Core S to send information back and forth. Um, so, yeah.